everybody. How are you? How are you guys doing on this cold January day if you're in the northern hemisphere? It's pretty chilly. Um, hopefully we have some people on. I am super excited to share this technique with you on how you can increase your affiliate income and increase your email subscribers and build rapport um, with your readers. So it's an intense strategy. Um, it's it's gonna take you a little bit of time to put together. It's not gonna be like just 10 minutes and then it's done, but it's gonna lay such a strong foundation for your future blogging career. So I'm super excited to share this with you. It's a way that you can, um, I'm, I'm gonna teach you a way to implement this strategy without investing a ton of hours. It's gonna take some time, but it's not gonna be like hundreds of hours, all right? So it's really exciting. I did this strategy back in November, and in that one month, I doubled my affiliate income for a particular um, product. So I wanna show you exactly what I did. Um, that's what I'm here for, right? I'm here to test different ideas and then report back and show you guys what worked and what doesn't work for me. And um, kind of the steps of how I did it so that you can do it faster and easier and apply to your niche. All right, so I see we have some people on. I'm super excited. Um, just sent a, oh, somebody wants to watch the replay because they have a crying, screaming baby. Yes, um, I'll leave these videos on my Facebook page. Um, I might take them off eventually, but right now they'll be on for a couple days so you can watch this video again. But I'm excited you guys are here. Leave a comment, say hi, um, so I know who's here right now. And then we'll switch over into the strategy and you guys can take some notes and get excited about it because it's gonna be fun. All right, so let me switch this over here. There's just a bunch of windows I have to move so I can still see the chat. If you guys are commenting, I can't see any comments right now. I see some likes and some hearts. That's good. All right, so, oh, I see you. Hi, Vera, how are you doing? I'm glad you could find some time. I know you have a whole, bunch of children over there. So thank you for signing on, I appreciate it. Welcome. All right, so, okay, we got a bunch of people on, so let's go straight into the awesome, I put this whole presentation together for you guys, so it's like, it exploded into really awesome advice. Let me just go to the top of it. Um. All right, there you go. We are in the presentation and i'm just the side i'm reading comments um hello there so excited hi Haley. hi desiree hi michelle i hit the mad face didn't mean for it for some reason i can't comment on my computer so <laughs> okay, i'm glad you're not mad hi abigail all right cool um all right how to build your list and make money at the same time and as i was going through and creating this presentation there's actually two ways three eventually, eventually three ways. But there's two ways that you can make money with this technique right from the beginning. And then eventually there's gonna be a third way that you can make money with it when you're ready to do that. So what I'm gonna go into here, it's a little bit more advanced for completely beginning bloggers. So if you feel a little overwhelmed right now, that's okay. Um, you can save this video. It's, it can be something that you do later on during the year, it can be one of your goals, but if you are ready, um, beginning bloggers can do this as well, definitely. So what you'll need for this strategy is four to six instructional videos. You want people to start seeing you, interacting with them. They could either be screencast videos where you're just recording your screen or actual face-to-face um, -face videos, like kind of what I'm doing here now. Um, you need one blog post with links to affiliate products that you mentioned and then you either need an account with Teachable or ConvertKit. And today I'm gonna to go into the Teachable, teachable route. Um, we'll do ConvertKit later if I get a lot of comments that you guys wanna see that strategy as well. But let's go into the Teachable one because that one has more opportunities to make money. And um, that's what the next slide is. So there's pros. There's pros of using ConvertKit, which is just an email um, automation service. That's, it's cheaper to start and create this strategy with ConvertKid. That's if you wanna save money. But if you wanna start making money, which is nicer, 
um, the teachable strategy has more opportunities to make money. So I wanna show you that right now so that you guys can make money this year, not just save money. All right, hi Mackenzie, hi Anna. All right, so how do you grow both your affiliate income and get email subscribers at the same time? You create a free mini course. And I'm gonna go over what I did in November to double my income from one particular affiliate um, through creating a super simple mini course. So what I did um, back in November, I had a day free and I love using PicMonkey for all kinds of different editing um, features for my pictures, right? To make my pictures really pop for Pinterest. Um, I love using PicMonkey. And what I did was I took four of the strategies that I really like to use in PicMonkey and I created little tutorial videos and I made a free mini course on Teachable and then I promoted that course to my list and that almost tripled my affiliate income just from PicMonkey alone for the month of November. So I haven't promoted this course again, but the month that I promoted it, I got $400 from it, which is pretty awesome for an affiliate company. Um, and then you can see the income is staying higher even though I'm not promoting it. I probably will once or twice again. All right, so that's just kind of the proof in the pudding, right? So this is what the course looks like. It's a small free course that I created on Teachable. Um, I explain to my readers what they'll learn. I show them four tutorial videos of how to edit pictures, how to combine text with pictures, how to add their logo to a picture, um, how to make it look brighter and prettier, um, different little tricks and tips, but it's all free. And then, I give them some next steps. So it's a super simple course. It's nothing huge. It didn't take me weeks to create. It took me about a day to take all the videos and then another day to put the course together. So don't be intimidated about course creation. And especially if you're starting with a free course, a mini course, this is a great way to kind of get your feet wet and get familiar and comfortable teaching through video and creating little courses so that one day when you do want to create a full-fledged big course and charge for it, you have that confidence. But this is a great way to start building your confidence. All right, so you can see it's a small course that I created that's an opt-in. Um, here's one of the lectures, how to mix that text into a picture. So you can see kind of the text folds over the, the um, pens there. So I show them in the video how to do that. And then I have my affiliate link to sign up for PicMonkey. Um, Amazon does not allow you to put affiliate links directly within um, closed systems like PDFs or eBooks or Teachable. So what you could do then is link back to a blog post on your blog that's open and public. And then that's where people will find those affiliate links and then make affiliate purchases. I'm going over the kind of what I did and then I'll show you how you can do this too. So I promoted it to my email list and pinned it to Pinterest, and I got 538 people enrolled, which is pretty awesome. Um, that was, that's, that's good, it's good. <laughs> All right, so, I might be skipping a little bit ahead here, but I'll show you how, where the, the places are that you can make money with this. If you wanna do this, maybe I'll move the slide to the end. Um, you can create a free account with Teachable and completely do this for free without even paying anything yet. So if you go to startamomblog.com slash Teachable, that is my affiliate link. And then if you go to pricing, it's kind of hard to find the free plan. If you go to the top of their menu, go to pricing, and then way at the bottom here, it says, take Teachable for a test run. Try our free plan. There's a little link to the free plan. So that's where you can sign up for free. All right. Cool, and Elizabeth says, how spooky. I was just talking today, today about doing a beginner's Etsy course as an opt-in this morning on my page. That's awesome, yeah. Do a beginner's Etsy course. And Etsy actually has an affiliate program, Elizabeth. So you can include your affiliate link to Etsy, and then if people go through your free course, you get um, commission from Etsy as well. Isn't that awesome? All right, so the pros of using Teachable 
um, is that you can do an upsell. Right after they enroll into the course, you can hit them with an upsell page or what do they call it? Um, what is the other name for this? I, where was it? Um, tripwire. There you go. You can hit them with an upsell or a tripwire. Technically, this is a tripwire because they didn't sell anything. You didn't buy anything initially in the free course. So you're hitting them with a tripwire. So they enroll in your free course. They're super excited about it. And then they get this one-time offer where they can get, if you have other products, get those at a discount. And Teachable allows you to do that. Um, you could also, when this is pretty neat little trick, in Teachable, you can increase the perceived value of your free course so you can keep it free but on teachable you can actually add a payment plan or a, a, a price to it so that say for example you charge twenty dollars for it but when you share the code with your readers or on your blog you share it with a coupon code attached so when they go to sign up for the course it looks like the course you charge normally twenty dollars for it but now it's free so in their mind, they're like, oh, I'm getting something for free. She normally charges 20 bucks for this, but she just sent it to me for free. So that's kind of that perceived value for your readers. Um, and it's a way to kind of make them happy and sign up, right? So that's a cool little trick that you can do with Unteachable. All right, so let's stay on this slide for just a minute. Tripwire, yeah, Tam Tamara, it's called a tripwire, not an upsell. I get the two kind of intermixed. Um... Gail says, I wonder if I could do make your life frugal course there. Yeah. Yeah, you can teach people how to be more frugal. Um, Tamara says, are those features only available with the 99 plan of Teachable? The tripwire, I think it's still possible with the free one. Um, I ran into a snag yesterday and somehow my account, my entire Teachable account was back to the free plan um, for about 24 hours and all my upsells still worked. So that might have been because I already had them established and on there, but I'm thinking it doesn't say on Teachable itself. Oh, gosh, I don't wanna move this. Um, let's see, pricing plans, and then I'll go back to that. Um, you can add coupon codes in, okay, that's the basic plan. I wonder in the free plan if you can actually do coupon codes and upsells. Let me know um, when you sign up for it, Tamara. All right, so let's go back to kind of the overview. So I've, I've covered a lot right now and pretty quickly, but overview, how does this work? So you create your free mini course to teach somebody a new skill to transform their life in a little way, even if it's something just like organizing their closet. Because a lot of times I can read blog posts of how people are organizing their closets and the tips that they're doing, but I need the support of somebody showing me. I would love kind of the moral support of a mommy or a friend going through her closet and I see what a mess she has because I have a mess in my closet. And she's like, well, I don't need this anymore. This is how I hang my clothes. This is how I fold my clothes. Um, even if it's just a mini course on something that small, like organizing your closet that's something that you can help somebody with. So keep that in mind. So you start off with a landing page, kind of your opt-in page. That's where they sign up to your course. Then they come into the actual form where they sign up with their email address and they create a password into their Teachable account. That's when you hit them with the tripwire or the upsell, if it will be a tripwire in this case. Yeah, because the first one was free. You hit them with a tripwire, um, and normal conversion on that, it's not very high, but it's around 2%. So if you have 100 people going through your landing page, you're gonna sell two of these on average. So if you sell them for $20, you're gonna make 40 bucks. That's awesome, that's a way that you can actually make money off your freebie without um, going through extensive like work. So it's a great way to do that. That's what I'm doing currently on after my free, the blog plan when people sign up, they sign up for the blog plan and they get hit with a tripwire and a special offer. So that converts around 2%. Um, and it, it's nice, it's nice to get a couple sales every day. Then they enter the course. And then the second way that you can make money 
Number one is through the tripwire, and number two is from the course itself. If your affiliate company allows you to put the affiliate link in the course, you can do it that way. If they don't, you can always link back to a blog post on your blog where you have links to affiliate products, especially if you do Amazon. So from the course, you link back to your blog, which has a list of all the items that they need. Those are affiliate links that then link to the right um, stores. They make a purchase, you get a commission. So not only are you building your email list, making money potentially with the tripwire, you're building rapport with that free course. People are seeing your teaching style. They are liking you because you just gave them a complete free course. Um, and you're building your expertise, expertise and your experience in creating courses. And then lastly, you can make money as well through linking them back to your blog post. All right, let me see what the comments say. Um, everything keeps echoing. I'm so sorry. You guys okay? I hope it's not echoing too much. Maybe I'll be a little closer. <laughs> Hello. Um, okay, thanks. Let me know, Tamara. I find it so amazing how you manage all you do with your three beautiful children. Huge, well done. I'm like a sponge for your teachings. Thanks, Angela. Um, hubby right now is watching all three kids. So I was working on this early this morning on this presentation and I'm always thinking about it. So when I do come to my computer and I have 30 minutes to work, I just sit down and I work and I put, put it all together. I'm not sitting at my computer lollygagging or, or thinking. I do my thinking when I'm cleaning up the playroom for the 10th time. Um, Vera says, Susie, what was that comment in the beginning where you promoted a free mini course to Pinterest and gave 500 in your email list? Yeah, so the the course that I promoted um, is my PicMonkey course. So, we go to all my courses. Here's the PicMonkey course. This is what it looks like in the back end of Teachable. So I went in, I created the curriculum. So those are just the four lessons and you can preview them here. So don't be intimidated to create your first free course. It's a little bit more than just a PDF checklist and opt-in, but it, I have a slide that covers why this is such a great idea. All right. Um, Okay, Michelle says she gotta go, but that's okay. Uh, this will be on, learning from Utah. Thanks, Julie. Harriet says looking. Um, oh, thanks, Tamara. Yeah, you can save this video. I'm just going through the comments as well as we're going through the presentation so I don't miss anything. Okay, Chris says hers isn't echoing. Thank you. Okay, it stopped echoing, great. Um, Elizabeth says, what programs do you use to combine the screencast and facing you are using for course videos? I am currently, and I do in my courses as well, I use OBS. Um, so open OBS video, I think that's what it's called. Um, open broadcaster software, so it's free. So go to open broadcaster software, OBS project. This is actually what I'm using right now as well to do this video. All right, back to the presentation. All right, so if you make this free course, there's two ways that you can make money. One, through your tripwire, and then secondly, through your blog post. There's a third way as well, but we'll get into that in just a minute. So now, how can you do this? And obviously, I'm gonna give you some course ideas because I'm not just gonna leave you high and dry. This is what I would do. Your course idea as long as you can teach somebody a small little thing that will change their lives, even if it's organizing their closet, you can create your course idea. Something where they can see your face, they can see how you teach. Um, it's gonna build a ton of rapport. So one idea what you could do is a fitness course for moms, obviously, because I have beginning of the year, um, just had a baby about two and a half, three months ago, so I'm trying to get back into my pre-baby shape, so I have fitness on my mind. So what you could do, and I, I think this would be pretty cool, um, is a mommy showing me the fitness routines that she does in her house at home workouts. 
So this enables me to go into the course, set it on my computer or my laptop, and then do these little workouts while I'm playing with the kids. And I see another mommy doing it as well. So maybe Monday can be a leg workout. Wednesday can be abs, Friday can be upper body. Then here's where you make money. You link to a blog post on your blog that has affiliate links to the yoga mat that you use or the yoga pants that you're wearing or the, um, the um, kettlebell that you use in swing and hopefully you don't hit your kids. <laughs> um, but that's how you can make money through this little course. And then lastly, definitely include like a Facebook community. If you're doing something where moms need a lot of motivation, especially fitness, um, getting back in shape, organizing your house, teaching your children, um, include that Facebook community because that will build your rapport and your expertise as well and have people see you as not only an expert but a friend as well. So that's one idea. You can do a meal planning course. You can have a different meal in every module. Um, like Monday, you can have this is your recipe list and this is actually a video of me creating the chicken and veggies creating that, like making the meal. And then Tuesday is lasagna and garlic bread and Friday is homemade pizza. And then in the first module, you can link to a blog post again. This is how you're gonna make money on this one. Um, link to a blog post that has affiliate links to the appliances that you're using or the blender or the recipe cookbook. So that's how you can make money with this meal planning course. And it's, um, it's a way for you also to get comfortable being in front of the camera because you don't have to be so stressed. It's a completely free course. So if it's not perfect, that's okay. You didn't charge anybody money. You don't have to feel bad if they don't like it, that's fine. You are testing and experimenting and getting better at what you're doing. All right. All right, Kelly says she knows nothing about affiliate marketing and just got here. Kelly, this is a little bit more advanced than I normally teach. Um, if you go to my blog, startamomblog.com slash everything, um, I'll just link, I'll show you guys here. That's where you can get a ton of like the basic questions answered. Um, I normally do pretty basic teachings, but today is a little bit more advanced, so hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, so go to startamomblog slash everything, and this is where you will get tips. All my blog posts are organized here, so um, how to make money with your blog, this will go to kind of affiliate marketing, click and earn stuff. All right, so that's blog post that you can go research. All right, let's see, questions. All right, jo Josephine says, I love all the info you share. This is great, thank you. Cool, all right. So that's the meal planning course. All right, next one. And this one could be a good one too. If you're a techie and you use a lot of software online, um, you could do one kind of what I did on PicBunky, right? You could do one on, say for example, Camtasia. Camtasia is the video editing software that I use. They do have an affiliate program. So if you're amazing with Camtasia, you can create a free mini course to teach others how to use Camtasia and edit videos. So number one, your first module can be how to install Camtasia. You can add your affiliate link there. Um, number two can be the equipment needed for great videos. So that's where you can link to a blog post about the, um, the webcam that you use and the mic and um, the ring light, which I have on right now. So that's a second way that you can make money through kind of this software teaching mini course. Then you can teach them how to create amazing videos, how to add text to videos, how to transition between clips, and how to upload that video to YouTube. So it doesn't always have to be um, a, like a strategy, like fitness or meal planning. It can be a software um, product as well, like Camtasia. All right, so the pros of creating a mini course, and I'm hearing the kids in the background, and it's almost dinner time, so. Um, I can I can like feel the tension in the house building that I need to go downstairs and go help. <laughs> All right, but we'll get there soon. All right, pros of creating a mini course. Number one, you're building rapport. So that when you do launch your paid course, when you're ready for that, people will already know you and love you and love your teaching style. 
and that when you have that paid course later on, when you're ready to create that, you'll have much higher conversions. All right, I want you guys to be super successful because this is awesome. Like this online world is just like blowing my mind that as mommies, we can be with our kids and we can create these amazing products and we can help each other. Like I'm on fire about this stuff. Number two, um, you're creating a free course without any of the pressure of launching. So if your videos aren't perfect, if your lighting's not perfect, if you're stuttering, if, if there's something not amazing about the course, that's okay, it's free. You're giving away free, amazing, good information. Don't be so stressed that it has to be perfect because it is a freebie, right? Um, number three, you can always update and add to the course in real time. So if I go back to my Pick Monkey course right here, because um, one thing, if you have a freebie that you're giving people and it's a PDF or an ebook, they download it and it's on their computer. And it's hard to send them an update because then they have to go re-download it. But here in the back end of, um, of my free course, I can just go in and add a new lecture and add new video files, and add to this mini course without having to resend everything out, right? So I can add to the course or, and even make it better, improve it. Um, you can upgrade the course and charge for it later. So say for example, I just wanna learn everything about PicMonkey and I start creating these masterpieces and I add 10 more videos and all these amazing things about PicMonkey or about the course that you created, you can upgrade it, add more worksheets, add videos, and then charge for it later. So it could be an entry level free course right now, and then eventually you can charge for it. So think about it that way as well. You're not just creating a course to better yourself, to um, improve your expertise, to build your email list and potentially make money. You're maybe laying the foundation for your signature course later on. Like I've mentioned, you're increasing your expertise. Um, and then because it's a free course, you don't need to be perfect. So no pressure at all. That's what I like about it. So now it's your turn. You can create your free course. <laughs> it feels so salesy. Um, you can go to startamomblog.com slash teachable. That's my affiliate link. Um, I wanted to share this strategy with you guys because that's how I've increased my email list, um, increased my income, and and just kind of increased my expertise too. So it's been working for me for the last couple of months. That's why I'm turning around and now teaching it to you guys so you can do the same thing. And I would love to check out your free courses after you create them so that I can kind of see what you guys have and um, if it's working for you. All right, so Kelly says, thank you. Tamara says, LOL. Anna says, quick question. When you're uploading a video recording to Teachable, how do you get that cover page slide that most courses show in the beginning of the video? Um, that's actually Camtasia. So I edit my videos in Camtasia. I record them through OBS. Um, that I showed earlier. And then I add like the beginning part of it. If you go to one of my paid courses, they'll be a little bit, so here, I go to all my courses, go to ebook by number, course curriculum. So let's see. So that beginning slide all right. so was all created through Camtasia. And then I edited it in Camtasia and then I upload it to, to Teachable. An additional little tip, you can also, if your course is free, you can upload those videos to YouTube and then from YouTube, link them back to the course login page and tell them Hey, if you want the rest of the videos or to enroll in the free course, um, just go ahead and click here. So that's a way that you can not only get, you can repurpose that content. The videos that you're putting in your free course, you can upload to YouTube and get that traffic as well. 
Kelly says, do I use the same thing for live videos? Yeah, I use OBS for my live videos. I think I can show you guys this. This is, uh, it's like screen in screen. So this kind, this is OBS and this is the screen that I'm, I set up to actually do the live video. So you can see I can make myself a little bit bigger, smaller. I can go to different, um, different screens and then go back there. Okay. So that's all OBS and it's all free. I can ask John to give a tutorial on OBS because it's a little tricky to set up, but it's awesome. It works well. All right. So it was a good little live lesson, 30 minutes. The tension in the house downstairs is, is hot. And um, at least I have the food already done in the crock pot. And we have winter squash. So we're eating healthy, getting back in shape. Um, so I might go drink a little half a glass of wine <laughs> and calm down because these lives, if you guys think you're stressed, I'm stressed too. Like I'm nervous doing these lives. There's like over 30 people watching me right now. Um, thank you guys so much. You make my heart so happy. I'm, I lie awake at night thinking about what I can teach you the next day. So I'm super appreciative of you guys signing on um all right Tamara says she has OBS but doesn't know how to operate it effectively I'm gonna ask John to help you guys with that um and Haley says thank you for this so awesome thank you so much have an awesome day um this video will be here for a while on my Facebook page go to the little three dots at the top and click on save so you can see it for the future and send me a link to your free course after you have it completed so I can check it out. All right, have an awesome day, thank you. Subscribe please. Subscribe please. Below. Below. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>